it's Mike from Gear Diary, and I have the Belkin Slim Style keyboard case for the new iPad Air. It's a new, newly released case. And if you take a look at it, it's a booklet style. So you open it up and you have keyboard and iPad cover. On the back, you have hole for camera, microphone, and actually along the top also the microphone, and then a kickstand. The front, plain. So, also on the inside you get a place to mount the iPad, top and bottom, as well as the keyboard itself. In terms of setup, all you have to do is the kickstand goes out, the iPad is there, the keyboard lays flat. And in most instances, this works really well in terms of putting it on a desk, on a table, uh, something like that. It works really well. Um, not really adjustable, you know, I mean, you can theoretically do it, but in terms of what works best, it just goes to this single flap-out position. Um, the keyboard itself is Bluetooth, therefore if I flip the switch on here, it will turn on and immediately then activate the iPad Air and work great with that. Pairing, there's a single button here which you pair it. Then along here you have function specific keys. So you have home, you have the lock, search, you can switch over to the screen keyboard, cut, paste, volume, play, all of those normal functionalities. You also have um, the command key, so copy, paste, and kind of the Mac keyboard sort of orientation, arrow keys to move around, and then all of your other normal keys. Um, the question mark is, is there, but your apostrophes are relocated down next to the space bar, and also things like your forward slash are now uh, shifted above your, uh, above the period, so it's a matter of getting used to some of those uh, locations, and also you do have a function key for, in some of these cases, a third function, you know, kind of a third uh, character that would appear and use a function key. So. But more importantly is how well the keyboard works. And what I have found since using it, and it's really just been a few days, just uh, over the course of the end of the week and, um, and into the weekend, is that it works extremely well as a keyboard. The keys are slightly smaller. I'm not a touch typist. I'm just a hack and slash typist. But for me, I find typing on this thing is, is really easy. It's a, it's a dream. Uh, to use. It's, again, it's a, a simple keyboard. It's got the chiclet style keys, but in terms of coming in, typing things in using, you know, whether it's on, on the internet and working on blogs, whatever it is that I'm doing, emails, works fantastic. Uh, makes it something that I'm glad that it is a kind of a combined thing, that it is always together. I was doing work at work and had go into the lab and figured that rather than sitting there writing down notes and transcribing, I would just type them in. Um, and that's what I did. I just was able to type them in here much more easily, leave this thing set up and open um, in this configuration, and then be able to, uh, to just type things in. So the Belkin name appears just as a small little surface thing along the back. Otherwise, it doesn't add too much. I mean, it does add, obviously, to the size of the air, but it feels like you're carrying around a notebook. If anybody you know, at their work uses a journal of around this size, it just feels like you're carrying around a planner. The iPad Air being light certainly plays into that, um, but also the keyboard itself doesn't add a ton of bulk. So this is the Belkin Slim Style Keyboard. Price and links are all in the, in the description review. Mike from Gear Diary. Thanks for watching.